The print has come to Telangana's Karimnagar district to speak to YS Sharmila. She has most recently launched her political party YSRTP in Telangana. YSRTP sounds similar to YSRCP, that's a ruling party in Andhra Pradesh led by Chief Minister YS Jagan Mohan Reddy. Sharmila is also the daughter of late Chief Minister of erstwhile Andhra Pradesh, Dr. YSR Rashika Reddy. So the reason, thank you for speaking to the print firstly, and the reason I've mentioned uh, uh, the relations with the former, with, with late Chief Minister and Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister is because you've been politically active for them first before you launched yourself. You know, just to give a bit of clarification because we are talking about Telangana here. So over 200 days of Padayatra in Telangana covering several districts and many more days to go covering different parts. Uh, what what has been your what are you your takeaway from this Padayatra? Do you think people in the state have started to recognize YSRTP? Have, are they taking it seriously? Are they taking Sharmila seriously? I believe so. Because in the beginning when we launched YSR Telangana party, which I must clarify is quite different from YSR. Congress Party because YSR Congress Party stands for Yojana Shramika Raitu Congress Party while YSR Telangana Party literally is YSR Telangana Party. So said that, I would like to say that people have in fact uh, with a resounding um, voice time and again have proved in this Padayatra that they still remember YSR. The fact of the matter is that many people had ruled me out in the beginning saying that YSR is a you know long gone era, that, that YSR is no more prevalent. But contrary to that, with great pleasure I would like to say that people still remember YSR, not only remember, everywhere I go they greet me with the warmth, with the love and they remember they they actually narrate all the um, you know schemes that YSR uh, uh, that they benefited from and they're in fact very very happy that I am in politics now I am in Telangana now because now they feel like they have a hope right. so do you think that love and admiration for uh, YSR will transfer to Sharmila as she is trying to make her political debut I believe so because uh, just just being YSR's daughter will probably just allow me uh, a launch pad, but nothing more. But beyond that, people have to see my caliber, my commitment and uh, the way I am able to connect to them and the trust that I am able to infuse in them. Uh, so in this Padayatra, I believe I am able to do that. I was able to do that and people are actually very serious very looking forward to a change in the government. This is a follow-up to the point that you mentioned. In the beginning, people did not take you seriously when you just started off or when you just launched. This applies to political parties in Telangana also, right? Not just the opposition parties, but even the ruling party leaders, ministers have said it's not worth to comment on Sharmila or not react on a party because it's negligible and irrelevant in Telangana politics. How do you react to that? What do you have to say about that now? I really don't care what they think about uh, YSR Telangana party because they are not the actual judges. I believe that the actual judges are the people and the people have recognized YSR Telangana party as a, as a serious contender for the coming elections and they have also recognized that YSR Sharmila is able to replace her father. And uh, I challenge the TRS party leaders and their cadre. If you really think that YSR Sharmila is not a prominent face or, or not a you know, uh, worthy thing to mention about, then why are you, uh, why are you actually attacking us in this Padayatra? Why are you actually forbidding us from entering villages or you know, places where uh, we are planned to go? Actually, if they actually think that we are not a force, then they should ignore us to the extent that they don't care about us. They don't care about what we are doing in the villages. Because the people are adoring us, because the people are flocking toward us, because the people are 
um, attending to our uh, public meetings in great numbers. They are actually attacking us, they are actually removing our flexis, they are actually not giving us permissions, they are actually harassing us through the police. They are doing all kinds of things. My question to them is, if you actually have the face to answer to our questions, we are questioning them on why they are not keeping their promises given, why we are questioning them on their corruption in every constituency, we are questioning them on why they are not able to deliver the promises they, are, they had given earlier themselves and the party itself. If they had the face, if they had the courage to actually answer us on these issues, then they would answer us. Because they don't have the face, they don't have the courage to bring up these issues in the people. All they say is that we are not a force. But in fact, they believe that we are a force and that's why they are actually attacking our, our yatra. Do you believe... Every time, I mean, the reaction and counter reactions from ruling and opposition parties that keeps going on. And when you mentioned that opposition parties are not allowed to enter a certain space or protest, I think that's a complaint of all the opposition parties in Telangana at this point of time. But when we're looking at the growth of opposition parties in Telangana, BJP has been on a high. Congress, which has been for decades in the state a strong party, is now struggling, uh, you know, to keep up the pace. They're all in a race. BJP, TRS, Congress are in a race. Is there vacuum enough for YSRTP in the state? Do you think so? There is vacuum in the hearts of the people of Telangana. They do not trust the TRS party because they have failed on every promise given. They do not trust the Congress or the BJP because they have been in the opposition since the last eight and a half years. And they have not questioned the government on its failures. There have been jo no job notification since eight years. They have been, um, you know, thousands of farmers have uh, killed themselves. There are hundreds of uh, youth that have uh, killed themselves, suicides. There are many problems in the, in the state of Telangana. And I believe that the, there is vacuum in the hearts of the people for a new party because they do not see the Congress or the BJP as an alternative. They know that... Given TRS party, they have these so-called opposition parties called the BJP and the Congress in the state, but they haven't been able to become an alternative to TRS. They haven't been able to project themselves as, you know, uh, as being able to deliver the people from this TRS regime. Because in 2018, if you see, there was huge anti-incumbency for K KCR. But 2018 KCR still won because the Congress and the BJP were not able to provide the alternative that the people desired. They did not see the Congress or the BJP being able to fulfill what TRS failed to fulfill. Sorry to interrupt you here, but BJP has been seeing good amount of victories in the state compared to what they were before. They have some bipolar wins. The GHMC uh, performance has been quite remarkable that way. So do you think when you say people are not able to trust BJP and Congress, but BJP figures wise has been able to do, create some sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, sensation on the ground? This is not how politics should work. You know what BJP does? BJP doesn't have the audacity to go into the people and tell the people that being in power in the center they were able to give this and this to Telangana. Even to this day BJP does not have the face to say we have fulfilled your uh, uh, the, uh, the promises we gave during the partition of Andhra and Telangana or we have given jobs to people in the, to the youth in Telangana. They promised 2002 crores of jobs per year. How many have they given to the children of Telangana? They haven't fulfilled any of their promises. So they don't have the face to go to the people and say that we have done this so we become an option. The politics that uh, BJP does is either hate politics and religion or defection politics. They catch an MLA who is willing to defect and then they bring a bipole and then they spend a lot of money and then they, spend a, they send their huge force, the BJP force, and they try to stir up a hype that they are an alternative but people don't see it like that in the in the by election the scenario is different because the bjp the uh, bjp who's ruling in the center and the congress um, and the trs who's ruling in the state it just becomes you know a dog fight it just becomes uh, a fight to prove who is who is more strong the center or the state that's not got anything to do with people trusting bjp no this is not uh, this is not a state that will accept bjp as an alternative only because BJP has never proved themselves in Telangana. 
there are questions about why should uh, why should miss sharmila be taken seriously or why should ysrtp be taken seriously because except sharmila there is no other strong face in the party there is lack of clarity of the party's plans so how would you respond to that there isn't a lack of uh, clarity on our plans because everywhere we go we have been saying that to bring back ysr's regime is the single point agenda of ysr telangana party we have also said that we will stand for the people of telangana we want equality for the people of telangana we want women and all kinds of castes and religions to be treated equally we have said various issues and the people have clarity about that well coming to leaders coming to you know the so called leaders that you mention have not been joining us probably everybody is just testing the waters i do not really care about who comes and joins us as long as the people in the people's hearts we have earned our space that's what is most important and this padayatra you can do your surveys anybody can do their surveys i am sure ysr telangana's party's graph has considerably increased since last year because it's just been one year since we launched the party so what's the focus for 2023 elections in telangana we are hardly looking at like you know hardly a year away so what is ysrtp's focus in 2023 elections we are going to contest in all the assembly constituencies in telangana and um, everywhere i have stepped on in this padayatra i have seen that the people love vyasa the people want that regime back i have in no place not in the south not in the north not in the west or the east i have not seen a single place that has been lukewarm towards me in every constituency people have adored me i should say even to this day so if you are going to contest all the seats in 2023 there are also questions about why did vyasrtp not field a candidate in the recent munugodu bypoll which was looked at as a semi final to the main elections why was there no contest there from your end why should there be a contest there is it is it an election that came for the people is it because a an mla died there is why is this why did this even by election come it's because a congress mla defected and joined the bjp which are two extreme parties Just but do I have also party. provided a field for YSRTP to come prove their merit? No, no. What is the what, what is the ground for this by-election? Is what I am asking. Is it even ethical? It seemed very unethical for me. It's a Congress MLA who defected, who joined the BJP, and just to prove their power, KCR's government, the Speaker. agreed to give consent to the resignation so and that's why the election came up so did ysrtp not contest the election purely because it came up on an unethical basis as per your words of course hmm. of course and then it became a a dog fight in the streets that's what it was meant to be from the beginning that's what it was that's you know bjp wanted that kind of attention just to create the hype and ksr wanted to prove his power it was just about you know money game it was just about the power game it was just to prove their arrogance and their authority but isn't that what elections is all about you sometimes elections come up unexpected then parties have to come in the fray prove their point so judging them based on if they're ethical or not would that not be impractical at this point of time no because one by election is not going to make a difference to anybody it doesn't prove anything because there's just one year to the election i don't even think the election commission should have conducted this uh, by poll it's just ridiculous just for one year you, you have wasted like 1000 crores of rupees were spent on this election literally 1000 crores of rupees were spent on this election right only to prove you know their muscle power Let's look a bit at Andhra. Talk a bit about your family. The reason why I'm asking this is whenever Sharmila is in discussion, it's not just about her politics, not just for the people. Even politicians have taken a dig about how the family is functioning. So, uh, are there differences in the family? There's always a buzz that there are no talks or there are discussions about the parties. But are there differences within the family, within the Vice family? These are different political parties. These are political parties that. cater to different states so geographically region wise we are different and we have different political parties i do not see why two different political parties should behave like they are one party does that happen in anywhere else in the country i don't believe so i don't understand why the bus is what the bus is about
the the issue is two different parties coming from the same family and when you launch your party andhra government or more like ysrcp had given a clarification that there were ideological differences the exact word i use ideological differences between jagan and you about this i am telling you today that there are ideological differences between telangana ysr telangana party and ysr congress party because we belong to two different regions of course there will be differences in the ideologies why would they be the same i am asking no this is not about the political party ideological differences but you coming into politics they've clarified that jagan probably did not appreciate you coming here in telangana he's advised you against it does that even matter i am an adult i have my own ambitions i have my own priorities i live in a different region he lives in a different region he is committed to one place i am committed to one place i have a brought up here i was married here i bore my children here i have studied here i have lived here my past is here my future is here and don't i have the liberty to take my own decisions is this even democracy or is this uh, women's rights we are talking about or <laughs> what are we talking about here fair enough i mean you have every right to go and contest wherever you want launch your party questions are coming up because you've campaigned for him in the past at the same time when you launched your party with the support that you got in telangana you didn't get the same support from jagan at that time that is where people are looking it doesn't matter now the help we do to somebody does not res- uh, does not necessarily mean they reciprocate to us you know you do what you want to do based on the judgment that you have and what the other person does is completely up to him yeah i'm not going to be conditional about because i did this to you you did you know i did this for you you have to do this for me how does it even apply to any favor right i think that's it's left to each one's discretion we've heard from their side that they jagan probably did not want you to come here and launch your party in telangana uh, we want to hear from your side when you pitched this idea to him or when you discussed it within the family what was the response see everybody has their own priorities well if he is the chief minister of andhra he will always have to take the side of andhra people and if one member of the family is going to be in telangana and take the side of telangana people then it sometimes may clash with his priorities which for natural reasons he might not like but i don't have to be bound by them i have my own life i have my own region and i have the right to take my own decisions so uh, when uh, vice vijayma had also said recently that it's time to support my daughter i've given enough support to the son it's time to support my daughter i think of most recently when you had completed 3000 kilometers she was there at that point of time so are we seeing increased role of her in vice rtp in the coming days her role has been standard she has been there since day one she has been the wife of vyasar she has been my mother I don't think anything about her has changed. She totally supports me from day one, and she totally supports me even to this day. Right. In one of your, uh, uh, you know, when you when we were paying tribute to Dr. Vyasar, you'd mentioned how you miss him as a father. You used to call him pops, if I'm not wrong, and how anything under when he was there around, you felt that net of safety, and obviously whatever you wanted, you could. I mean, you know, whatever things that you'd wanted to execute that were easier. How does it work out now? Is it lot tougher to come out all alone? Probably initially when you came out alone, lot of reports about what's going on in the family, nobody supporting you, and then you still decide to go ahead. How different is the time? It's very different now. <laughs> It's very very different now. Well, life is what it is, right? I believe in God. I am a believer. I hope. I I believe in miracles. I just know that in my heart. there's integrity and i know the reason i entered into politics is to bring about a change in telangana it's for the betterment of the people of telangana this is not this is not me being ambitious because i have never been an ambitious person people who know me closely know that i've never had an ambition be it political or be it financial i have actually never had any ambition in life and if i've taken this plunge into politics it's only because i had to do this because there are so many people in telangana who who actually gave up their lives when my father passed away when my father passed away almost 700 people died of grief and shock this has happened nowhere in history 
and most of those people who died were from Telangana. I remember a time when I asked my dad when he won the 2009 election with a very small margin. I had asked my dad, Pa, you love your people so much. Doesn't look like they love you back equally, I said. The poor man didn't say anything. He just smiled. But when, when my dad died and so many people died after him, I saw how much the people loved him. Yeah, the only reason I'm in politics today in Telangana is because the people of Telangana are actually suffering and they need a change of government. So, as you started your Padayatra, you've been a staunch critic. You said bias, Rajana Rajyam is what is required in Telangana. At the same time, you've been a critic of the ruling party. Uh, their promises or their in terms of employment, education, you mentioned some of them in the interview too. If you look at Andhra Pradesh, how would you rate the governance there? I'm asking you this as a person, as an opposition party in the state. So, if you look at Andhra Pradesh government, Jagan's governance, how would you rate that government? I actually do not see West Bengal's government or Andhra's government or Stalin's government. I actually don't have the time for all that. I am actually living in Telangana. I have a political party in Telangana and I am not interested in commenting in any other party or their leaders. And uh, it throughout your political journey in the campaigns and all of that. Have you taken any notes from Jagan's book, any leaf out of that to implement here in your political journey or is it different to the roots? The only agenda YSR Telangana party has is that we will bring back YSR's reign. YSR is our sole ideal role model. And what YSR did, no other leader in the country has been able to achieve. I believe that my father is the only inspiration and the only role model that YSR Telangana party wishes to follow. If you, if Sharmila had to clarify this about the whole differences that's being spoken about, are there differences? Are there no differences in the family? When was the last time? Yeah, when was the last time you spoke to your brother? Um, I'm not in the habit of lying, so I don't lie. Since you asked me, I'm saying this. We met at my father's. Uh, birth anniversary, uh, we had dinner together, it was a fine conversation and uh, yeah, that was the last time I saw him. Quick last two questions before we wind up this interview. Uh, I know you've spent a lot of time with us. In Telangana, there's been criticism that Sharmila is BJP's B team. Yeah. So, <laughs> very... Uh, yeah, millennial or Gen Z kind of ling yeah, slang the lol. But yeah, Sharmila is BJP's B team. She's gone to Delhi to complain against Kaleshwaram. You reached out to CAG, you've demanded a CBI probe, but the tag's been there that Sharmila has been planted by the BJP. How would you react to it? Well, if I react to that, I will react. have to react to everybody's, everybody's comments. I am plan B to either BJP or to TRS or to Congress. Why? Why I can't be on my own? If I had any inclination to join any party, wouldn't it have been easier for me to just join a big political party? Wouldn't my life been, wouldn't my life have been so much easier had I just joined the Congress or had I just joined the BJP? Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Why would I even launch a political party and then go through all this? It's just ridiculous. I am plan B to nobody. I don't work for anybody. I am here for YSR to not only uphold his name again, but to bring back his regime again. If I were plan B to BJP, if I were working for BJP or the Congress, would I have been able to project YSR or talk about YSR so much as I'm, I'm doing now? So, yeah, so the only reason is that I don't approve any other political party. BJP party has done nothing for the state of Telangana, literally nothing for the state of Telangana. Every leader comes to our, uh, our state and says that Kaleshwaram project is the ATM for KCR. Everybody says it's the biggest scam. I agree, it is the biggest scam of India. 
it totally is that's why i'm asking the bjp to commission an inquiry my only question to the bjp is if you know that there is so much of corruption in kaleshwaram why don't you have the courage to commission an inquiry how have they responded to this request of yours the center the center per se i have not met anybody from the bjp but i have met people in cbi i have met people in kag they are saying they will take it up i hope they will take it up but eventually my question is why am i doing this why is in the congress or the bjp themselves you know asking for an inquiry this is the biggest scam of the country 1 lakh crore of rupees has come from central financial institutions into this project it is not even a state state's money state's money is just marginal is just minority the majority money to kaleshwaram has come from central financial institutions don't you think the congress the central congress or the bjp itself should take up this uh, corruption issue and commission an inquiry into the biggest scam of india today almost 80000 crores of rupees was siphoned off in this one project and why am i the only one who's talking about uh, kaleshwaram if bjp has any audacity any any integrity i think bjp should commission an in inquiry right. you know with what face do they come to our state and say that there has been uh, uh, corruption in kaleshwaram and yet they do nothing how ridiculous is that what have they done for telangana they haven't kept one of their uh, promises even one of their promises and they haven't even commissioned an inquiry into the biggest scam in telangana so what is bjp doing in telangana again right. when we talking about opposition parties such as bjp and congress in telangana which are also present in the state and just a year to the polls it's a never say never situation so will sharmila be open to an alliance with ysrdp be open to an alliance with any other party in the run up to the polls there won't be any necessity for it because people don't trust congress or the bjp party and of course we will be the chief contender for trs we not go into any alliance no, no. right quick last question before we wind up this interview any comments on the bharat jodo yatra in the land of padayatras rahul gandhi has also stepped in in andhra a bit telangana a little bit longer what's your take on that don't want to talk about it. don't want to talk about it and you'll be contesting from khammam as you mentioned yes the same constituency paler That was why Sharmila talking to the print. Definitely a tough road and tough fight ahead in just a year left for the Telangana polls. But she said she says YSRTP will probably emerge as the chief contender for TRS. This is Shikha Sadam for the print from Karimnagar.